What's up guys, Psychoduplex here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a jet that actually takes off and lands. Oh my goodness. It's going to be freaking amazing. Let's start off with this cockpit. It seems like the uh, the best one for the job. I think it was technically in the description. It says it's for next generation for sleek and high speed aircraft, so I'm guessing it's definitely going to be your best bet for a plane. Plus, you can attach stuff to the front. Um, where do we start? Okay, um, first thing I would say adding is, where is it? Okay, the nose cone, then NCS adapter, and then you can add the avionics package, which is the SAS, pretty much for aircraft. It's a little more space. It's consume, uh, not it doesn't consume as much space. Oh, uh, what else could we do for a Klondike bar? That's what could we do? Never mind. But yeah, add these fuel tanks. Make sure you don't add these because they don't really. Well, they do work, I think, but they don't. They burn fuel either too quickly or they don't, I, don't, I have no idea, just, just use these because these are meant for the jet engines, which is this one and this one. Uh, I recommend using this one, it gives you a little more thrust, but I think this one's a little more uh, giving in to like, uh, the intakes and stuff like that, and they, make, they, like, they can push up the performance way higher, but, oh, oops, uh, best thing I would say is use this one, I'll just do three fuel tanks for now, keep it short, keep it simple, um, let's see, what can we add? Next, definitely wings because you can't fly without wings. Uh, let's see, do this here. This is probably the most popular design for wings, as far as I've seen in a few videos that I've watched. Structural wing, just right up here. Oh, before I forget, it went double sided. Uh, so you're not freaking just doing one side and try to do the other side and it's all uneven. Doesn't work too well. I guess we'll just go ahead and do the delta wing first. Uh, do that, and then we'll do the structural wing. And it actually looks pretty good too. If you can like line it up and make it look all coolish, it's actually relatively short for a jet. But you know what? It should work. If not, we'll just go ahead and lengthen it up one, because some of my other designs have been like that. What the heck? Okay. Really? Really? Okay. There we go. Um, man, what else? Okay, yeah, we definitely, we definitely need these. Let's give it a little more lift. And then I've noticed if you add one more, you get a little bit better lift. It's definitely really important is lift, really. Like, that is what makes or breaks your plane. Um, and, and lightness. You definitely want a light plane, too. And a canard. Uh, I usually do the double. Looks, first of all, it looks cooler, and I think it works a little bit better than what well, obviously works uh, better than a single one. Um, landing gear. That would really help. Now you could stay traditional, I know this is really stupid and you wouldn't think to do this, but you could stay traditional and do the one in the center, but what I found through making planes at least on this game, two is always the best. Definitely. Definitely the best. Um, did I do that even? Did I do that good? Yes, I should. Alright, let's just call it... The... Psycho... Jet... Isn't that like two drugs on like freaking Fallout? I don't know. Oh man, okay. So, yeah, Psycho and Jet. Yeah, never mind. Okay, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, should be good. Okay, let's go for this. Launch. Launch the sucker. Any day. On my shit computer. Alright, so first thing you want to do is SAS. Turn that sucker on. If it would turn on. There we go. Um, with space, but I'm using a flight stick, so it actually kind of makes it a little bit easier for me. I'd recommend, or at least, turning down your sensitivity on your controls if you're going to be flying a jet. I go ahead and space, it automatically goes forward, I have no idea why. It's the bug in the game, obviously. But okay, I'll go ahead and turn up that thrust slowly. Not too much, it might kind of really fuck up. And then once we get up to about, I don't know, 50, I'll have to turn off the SAS and start lifting it up. See, so SAS makes it actually, oh, that's so good. It makes it like pretty damn impossible to take off. Okay, look at that. We're up. We are up, and that is flying. Um, actually, take the gear up with G, he would use. Takes the gear up. And actually, this is working a little bit better than I thought it would. Um, it's not. It's never easy flying a jet on this game. They, they, they need to really work on the jet physics, because if you've played a flight sim, you know that this is not <laughs> what flying a jet is like. Okay, turn up this thrust a little bit, get more speed going. Ooh, okay. No. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> this is this is wonderful. So we turned it. I 
I'll try to land back on the runway, but I might miss. Okay. Okay. <laughs> trying to get lined up. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna make it for the runway. I'm just gonna really try to land because I mean, really aiming for the runway is pretty unrealistic. <laughs> it's uh, well, not it's not unrealistic, but for this game, it's pretty damn impossible. And if you manage to pull that shit off, you are a fucking pro. Actually, one of my favorite commentators managed to do that. Uh, Robaz. <laughs> he actually plays this game too, and. Um, he managed to land it on the runway, but uh, right towards the end he fell off and uh, smashed into another plane he had sitting there. Um, okay, so you kind of keep wanting to kind of turn your SAS on and off because that's really it's going to help you keep in a straight line while you're landing. And then you can even pull up a little bit. I like my SAS is on right now, and it's let me make these little minor adjustments. But when I let go, my flight stick kind of goes right back into position slowly. Uh, we can actually. Oh, okay, I don't want to drop too much speed now. Now, definitely, once your wheels touch the ground, you want to leave your SAS on, because if not, you, nine times out of ten, will kind of wobble around just a little bit, and it'll mess you up really bad. But, yeah, here you have it as a jet that actually flies, and see, if I do this right, it lands, too. <laughs> Shitty computer. <laughs> Might actually help. Oh, yeah, it's, a hell. it's going up a little bit. I can put it down, put it down. No, no, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, here we go. Right the to touch. Oh, no, that's hard. Okay, we're good. And we drop our speed, and it really, it, there's no brakes, I don't think, maybe B. Is that actually, oh my god, those are brakes, B is brakes, <laughs> okay, well I just learned something new, you can stop with B, and I definitely need to program it in my flight stick. Oh, uh, wow, I'm a fucking genius. Uh, anyway guys, <laughs> re comment, subscribe, I hope you like this video. Um, I'm looking at, I was just actually talking to somebody that made a, send me a message. Uh, I'm going to actually be doing a VTOL aircraft after this and a space plane probably coming up, so definitely subscribe because I'm awesome like that. Anyway, peace out, guys.